Hello friends, Dr. A here again. Now listen, I'm not intending to give any medical advice with any of these videos, just have to put that disclaimer out there, okay? But what I do wanna do is I wanna go over a couple of things we talked about last time. We talked about the macronutrients, and if you missed that video, go back and take a look because there's three important groups of foods that every healthy diet should include, and that are the macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And we wanna talk about the good choices, the top five good carbohydrates today, and I'm gonna talk you through those. We're also gonna talk a little bit about some of the things that they contain that will do your body good. So let's get started, okay? First of all, we have to understand what is a carbohydrate, okay? There's different types of carbohydrates, and car not all carbohydrates are the same. So a carbohydrate basically is a molecule composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and like I said, not all of them are the same. We wanna compare a couple of these. For example, a piece of cake contains carbohydrates, okay? And is that a good carbohydrate? Well, let's compare it to, say, some roasted vegetables. What are you getting? What is your body able to use when you eat a piece of cake? Well, a piece of cake has flour and sugar, refined sugars, and that's a big, big difference in the way that your body can process and handle these things. Now, when you eat the roasted vegetables, you've got some phytonutrients, you've got antioxidants, you've got vitamins and minerals, okay? So I think that just looking at it and comparing apples to apples or cake to cake, um, cake is not a good choice if we can avoid it. Now there's some of us that will say, hey, everything in moderation, right? Well, not really. Why would you wanna eat something that's going to poison you? Why would you wanna eat something that your body can't use, cannot handle, and is gonna to lead to a huge problem in the future? We don't wanna do that. And there are people who will say, well, a calorie's a calorie's a calorie. Not true, okay? Not true. If you have a nutritionally dense food, that your body can use. If you have something that's full of refined sugar, that carbohydrate, your body is not gonna be able to use very well and eventually will lead to problems with your liver, will lead to problems with your heart, will lead to all kinds of metabolic processes that will keep you from being healthy. Now, we also wanna talk about sugar being a dangerous drug, because it is. Sugar is a dangerous drug. We'll talk more about that as we go along. In this short video, I just wanna talk about the top five carbohydrates that I think are healthy for you. But looking at that, we know that sugar in itself is addictive. It's literally addictive. When you eat that piece of cake, your body wants more. A response is set up chemically within the body so that you want more sugar, you want more carbohydrates. And studies have shown that increased intake of refined sugars leads to an increased risk of fatty liver. In fact, one study that I looked at showed that just two cans of Coke daily, two cans of Coca-Cola daily for five weeks led people to have a fatty liver. And contrary to popular belief, fatty liver is not caused by consuming fat. And it's also not effectively treated by a low fat diet. Guys, the low fat diet is what got us into this trouble as a nation. The epidemic of obesity it happened in large part because of the low fat diet. Now also, I wanna just lead you into this. If we talk about, I only have this every once in a while. Look at the calendar. In the US, there's 11 holidays, which are candy centric, treat centric, cake centric. We always have some sort of sweets on all of these holidays. There's 11 of them, federal holidays. Add to that birthdays, weddings and other celebrations and you will quickly find out that you're spending almost every week doing some sort of celebrating. It's not once in a while. And so I don't think that everything in moderation is okay. I think there are certain foods that you should avoid like the plague. Now, let's get into the top five healthy carbohydrates. These are the things that I think should belong in your diet, things that we don't get enough of, things that are good for us. Number one, cruciferous vegetables. Number two, leafy green vegetables. Number three, colorful fibrous vegetables. Number four, squash. And number five, the super fruits. Now, 
What are the cruciferous vegetables? Well, we've got things like cauliflower, cabbage, garden cress, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. These are super nutritionally dense foods. And these are foods that your body can use and they contain phytonutrients, they contain antioxidants, things that are good for the body. Now, we also have leafy green vegetables. What are the leafy green vegetables? Well, things like spinach, things like kale, romaine, collard greens, chard, arugula. These are things that can help your body be healthy. Now, the next class of uh, foods that we're gonna talk about are the colorful fibrous vegetables. Now, today we learned that red, yellow, and orange bell peppers, they're really a fruit, but we know them as vegetables. So we're including them in this colorful fibrous vegetables because they are colorful. There's also things like green beans, beets, purple eggplant, uh, carrots, parsnips, red and green chili peppers. Also, a special category for squash. I love squash. And there's yellow summer squash, zucchini, butternut squash, pumpkin squash, spaghetti squash. All these are full of nutrients and will help the body to be healthy. Last but not least, the super fruits, okay? These are full of fiber and enzymes. They digest very quickly, yet they have a very slow insulin response. And they have a high level of antioxidants, phytonutrients, enzymes, fiber, and vitamins. These provide an enormous immunity boost to the body, and they keep your digestive system functioning properly. We're talking about things like blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, pomegranates, cranberries, and acai fruit. These are fruits that are gonna help you to be healthy. And all five of these carbohydrates are good carbohydrates. I beg you, please take a look at this. If you don't believe me, research it. Look on the internet, Google it. We're so good at looking up things nowadays. It's very easy to get on the computer, get on your phone and look these things up. But these are the five carbohydrates that I recommend for a healthy diet. Next time we'll be talking about another class of macronutrients, the proteins. And so until then, be safe, eat well, be healthy.